We're now going to look at wireless transmission media, including twisted pair, coaxial and optical fibre types of cabling. So, firstly we're going to look at twisted pair, which may be either shielded or unshielded. Okay, twisted pair cabling consists of two copper wires twisted together. These wires are twisted for the purpose of reducing the amount of interference coming from other types of cabling. Now we can see that the actual twisted cables are insulated in order to protect them and reduce interference and contain conductors on the inside. Okay, um, they're commonly used in telephone sim uh, systems as well as internal wiring in network LANs. Okay, they're suitable for very high bit rates over short distances. Okay, but basically they're cheap and easy to use. The next type of cabling is coaxial cabling and as you can see here the copper conductor is very secured. Okay, we've got an outer insulation, a copper mesh, an inner insulation and then the actual conductor itself. Okay, and so this type of transmission is also used over a short distance but is a lot more secure and less susceptible to interference. The final type of transmission we'll look at is optic fibre cabling. Okay, here we have um, covering as well as sheath, but instead of having copper conductors, it has a glass fiber which is very thin. This glass fiber runs the actual transmission many times faster than optical, um, sorry, than uh, copper ever could. Okay, so it uses a laser, laser light going down this glass fiber, okay, which is the diameter of a human hair. Okay, it is free for any type of EMI or radio interference and can go over very long distances. This is the type of cabling they're trying to bring in with the national broadband network to increase the internet speeds within Australian network systems. Okay, so let's look at all these types of cables side by side and compare them. So basically, each one is used in order to physically connect network devices. So they're all wired, they're all physical, we can touch this type of transmission media. Okay. Both um, twisted pair and coaxial okay, have pretty short distances, with twisted pair at about 100 metres in length it can go over, Opt um, coaxial at 500 metres, but optical fibre we can go to 10 to 12 kilometres running cable. Okay, The speed is about 10 to 100 megabytes per second for a twisted pair. Same for coaxial cabling, optical fibre 10 to 100 gigabytes per second, Okay, hundreds of times larger. Okay. Twisted pair is the cheapest, but coaxial is also very cheap as well. But optical fibre is quite expensive to set up, okay, and it's also very delicate, so you've got to be very careful when using the actual type of cabling. Okay, twisted pair is cheap and easy to install as its advantages and is widely available and used. Okay, coaxial is less susceptible to EMI interference and carries several signals at a time. Okay, so it's better than twisted pair. The optical fibre is secure, it can go over longer distances, has no interference and has a much higher bandwidth with lower errors because of this less interference. And the disadvantages of each is that uh, basically twisted pair, you can't get it very far and it can pick up interference. Coaxial can be hard to work and can be tapped, okay, meaning people can access the actual transmission, okay, and failure can bring down a whole network. Whereas optical fiber is extremely expensive to install as well as to terminate and you need terminators to convert the data. So I hope that gives you a, a bit of an insight into the three types of transmission media used for wireless data transmission.